is a city of waters. It's got rivers everywhere. There are increasing issues with flooding related to the rain events that we've been seeing as the climate has really shifted. We are surrounded by water. We have to embrace that we are a coastal community. It's important that we think about how we can manage water in cities that are at risk to climate change. When the warnings of Sandy came, we started to see the water coming over the banks, and I see a dumpster floating along the street where we are. I see cars floating along. I look across the East River, and I see on 14th Street there was a large electrical plant. All of a sudden, the whole thing blew. The lights went out, and then you see dark cascading along Manhattan. We really don't want to experience that again. I was born right here in Queens, and I love Long Island City, and if you think of New York City, you don't think communities exist, but in Long Island City, it really does. But I always tell people that I volunteer a lot because I get so much more by giving back, and right now, one of my fights as a president of the Parks Conservancy is to advocate for more green space and parks in our community, because if you don't have parks in the community, you don't have a healthy community. In New York City, it's expected that by 2050, two times more people will be living in the floodplain than there are today because of the threat of sea level rise. Climate change is already happening. And when we look to redevelop our waterfronts and when we look to bring people back to water, it's important that we create places for people, but also think about how we can protect these places. I've been involved with this park and this project from the very beginning. The park was previously an underutilized industrial area. When we think about sustainable development, Hunters Point South embodies much of the ideals and much of the mission. From an engineering perspective, it incorporates how we can embed green infrastructure, nature-based solutions into protecting the city, but also increasing biodiversity and improving public space. The interesting thing about the park is that for most users in the park, they are walking through infrastructure that they would not otherwise know about. You can see here a new constructed wetland that was designed uh, to absorb the coastal flooding that can happen during major storm events. All of the plantings were selected to be native species to help thrive in this marine environment, um, but they're also there selectively to help absorb stormwater. One of the key landscape features of the park and what looks like a very simple landscaped area and feature of the park is actually doing double duty. We actually have designed it so that it can hold water during extreme rainfall and stormwater events. I'm most proud of seeing this former industrial land being transformed into a, a thriving public space that brings people here, brings nature back to the water's edge, and that also incorporates resilience uh, as part of the waterfront. We've had so many really serious storms this year, and you go to the marsh and they're filled to the top, but they don't overflow, which is not the case in a lot of Queens. I'll say, as, as the engineer who worked on this for over 10 years, it's gratifying to hear uh, that it has performed uh, that well. So that's great to hear. People love Hunters Point South Park. It is incredibly, incredibly well visited, um, and there are more people coming every year. We run over 100 free public programs, and we also run community outreach and education campaigns. People have started to see this as a model for how you can do successful waterfront parks, which has been really cool. I remember coming here and seeing school children play in groups in the Oval. I myself brought my own children to this park when it first opened. I'm proud of the journey that we took with many stakeholders and community members in helping to shape this project. 
My favorite thing about living here is you come here and it's a different feeling than walking in Manhattan. You get out of the subway and you, you can breathe again. You feel alive. That is what is really special about this place. The waterfront is a huge resource. Whatever we can do to make it more accessible for everyone is really important.